Welcome back to Space Haven. Now, in the last episode, we uh, mined this system uh, free of uh, both Hyperium, Energium, Carbon, and uh, also Ice. And we also finished with the derelict that we uh, had in the uh, previous system that we were in. So, it's time to jump. And I'm thinking that we should get these uh, metals as well before we move on. So let's go here and uh, exit hyperspace here. There we go. Um, let's drop out here. And start with mining the Hyperium. I think we are working on hull scrap currently. Good. Let's get rid of the scrap. We have plenty of tech scrap as well, which is good. And energy scrap. So we have lots of scrap that needs to be recycled. The infra and soft scrap are the uh, least prioritized ones of those. Incoming ship pirates, of course. Okay. Well, I guess we will prepare to jump. And put the system readiness at red. Sorry to wake you up in the middle of the night, Miss Matrix, but you seem to be well rested anyway, so it should be fine. Besides, it's time to wake up soon anyways. Okay, let's just skip the mining of this system then, even though getting some base metals would have been nice. But I don't want to mess with the pirates. I believe we have uh, taken that derelict out of commission. I don't remember, actually. I'm pretty sure we did. Let's move on over here. Then up there. And then, I guess, up there. And we can jump over here. And here we go. Interstellar hyperjump. Embark on interstellar travel. Traveling in hyperspace might cause nausea for crew members. A hypersleep chamber for each crew member will prevent nausea from occurring. Note, interstellar travel is possible and safe without having a hypersleep chamber for each crew member. So they might get nauseous, but we'll jump anyways. So this is the third uh, system that we are arriving in. And I hope that... We can find what we need to get up weapons systems and things like that in this region. Oh, the pirates at the very beginning. Great. This one has two jump points. Yeah, it's probably going to get progressively worse the further in to the center here we get. means that it is would, would be a very good idea for us to get up uh, systems like weapons and shields. Usually the pirates do not bother going to uh, start things. I think we don't need the chemical refinery anymore so let's dismantle that. Dismantle this uh, airlock as well. So, the next thing that we need um, is an electronics fabricator. Does this thing create? No, no, it does not create a lot of hazardous gas. That's good. Uh, 
We do have the tech blocks, that's just that they're on the floor in here. As you can see, it's now being constructed. This thing needs to make electronics components. Um, point 0.2 for each, so we can make 5, 10, 20, 30, 40 actually. Let's make 20 to begin with. And in the interest of progressing this series at a more expedient pace, because this probably isn't that interesting to watch, just them going back and forth between the storage areas and these uh, machines. I'm going to pause the recording here while we deal with uh, the uh, scrap and uh, the other parts that we need to get our uh, tech blocks, because that's the goal currently. So be right back when I have achieved that part. Of course, it doesn't change automatically, so here we are. Um, we are almost done with uh, recycling most of our scrap. Uh, Wally, of course, uh, managed to set fire to the um, water purifier. That's quite a feat. I've extended this room, so I'm moving these things around, and I'm intending to build a second generator. And since this is a pirate-free zone, that's why I'm moving these guys around now, before I head into the actual area. I also extended the um, room here and the room here. And I realized that this boundary box is the boundary box we have for the ship. So I couldn't move the room farther down, which is what I actually wanted to do. Now... Let's build another generator, because now we have the, uh, the necessary um, tech blocks for that. That's fine, and now I want to move this thing beside that, because I intend to extend this room, and before I do that, I want to build a wall down here that we are going to tear down afterwards. Of course, everyone is asleep, so nothing's going to happen for now. But as you may have surmised, I intend to have three warp drives and two generators in the back here. And then I will build a wall so that this part will be a separate room. That means we have more space here, and I will also build the ship... Um, this, these two empty areas here I intend to fill out, but we don't have enough hull blocks to do that as things are right now. We're still manufacturing six more tech blocks. Object not on power grid, that's correct. Let's slow things down a little bit. Uh, I think I want the wall to be... Let's see. So, here. This room doesn't really need to contain anything else except for these things. The only thing is, I might need more generators. But I can always build more generators. generator rooms in that case. So, we want to have doors, of course. That's a, a good idea, I've heard. Let's have a door there. And a door there. Let's build the wall right away. We 
running low on the uh, energy things. That's not good. Let's produce uh, 20 of those then. I'm not going to build the um, connection points for this generator until the wall here is done. This one is out of resources, so we only have the soft scrap left. I'll forego refining that for now, or recycling it. Because that would... Uh keep these guys who are now working on the power systems busy doing that. Good. Now let's pause the game. And I believe that if we are lucky... A power node on that port should be exactly enough. Good. We'll build a power node there. And a power node there. Now, of course, there is an area here that is unpowered. Which we can remedy by building a power node on the wall. Thinking. Yeah, let's do that. Not even sure why I have this thing on the floor there. This thing could connect directly to that. Okay, now, power grid and link. So we want to link that to that. This one needs to be linked to that one. And I think... Well, this is not ideal. Okay, well, that works. If we could connect that one to this one... sure why I've made this uh, these links by direct or one sorry one way directional the same with this one should just remove that so this one should connect to that one and this one should connect to that one. This one looks so malplaced. And I have far too many uh, power nodes inside the un industry area. I don't really need that one. But if I remove it, the uh, room becomes uh, cluttered. It doesn't really matter though. So this one goes to the lamp. Okay, so those two are actually perfectly aligned. We can remove this one. It's probably a good, a good idea to just unlink it right away. If we link this one to that, and this one to that, and then we can link those two up, and we can dismantle that one. Most of the ship should be covered by now. So then we can move the generator here. 
That thing creates noxious gases, of course. Since we're at it, we probably want some wall lights in this room. Let's pause so I can see the... That's a bit annoying. It should have been there, but it's fine. There we go. Of course, they have to go sleep before they can move the generator. Hey guys, let's go tear down the generator and then go to bed. Yeah, that's a great idea, guys. Good thing I built the other one first. Oh, we've had some slight issues by now. While we're at it, we can also go into the power grid and look at the links. This one doesn't need to be linked to anything, so we can dismantle that. No. This one should link to that one, whereas that one should link to that one, which will then give both the generators a proper link. Good. Yes. also pause again we have seven hull blocks which isn't enough so one row two rows three rows four five six seven eight nine let's do the same thing on the other side just keep these sketches hanging around currently. I don't know if we need hull blocks to make uh, things like, you know, weapon systems and stuff like that. But this is what the ship is going to end up lo looking like. It's not perfect, but it's not bad either. Now we need to link this to that one and to the other generator, and we should be good power-wise. And again, we need water, so we can make 15 of that. All of these vegetable uh, hydroponics things use quite a bit of water. Uh, let's prepare for a hyper jump. and jump. We have plenty of energium at the moment. This place, however, looks very tasty. But of course the pirates are on their way, so... There's a ship up there. Let's stop here and there's a derelict here. So we want to stop beside that. Deploy. And we should let people sleep before we uh, do anything.
But you guys can get your uh, arcade machine back now. You can also get your jukebox. That'll make them happy. There we go. Uh, Catherine, I am afraid you are going to be drafted, so please go to the craft. And Ma Miss Matrix, you are also going to be drafted, so please go to the craft. Does this thing have an airlock? Yes, it does. Good. We will dock at that. Hopefully there's something nice here. Keep things down and you guys exit. And kill the biters. This looks eerily familiar. You can do it, guys. Kill the biter. Good. Guess this is a standard design for a one type of vessel. Is this credits or a data pad? It's a data log. Hmm. Well, let's uh, finish up with the ship before we read it. This place definitely has seen better days. Open both doors. And here's some credits, I assume. The big room of nothing. Aha! Fighters! And the other one went down there. There's the engine room. The oxygen levels are not optimal, but they're not dangerously low either. Maybe you sh should go inside, guys. The captain's ready room. Which would make this the bridge. Undraft and undraft this. Now, is there anything of interest here? Yeah, there's actually quite a bit of stuff here. Select all, transfer, do not transfer the monster parts. Yeah, we can live with this. Speed things up again. Is the salvage on this ship? Oh, there's a lot of salvage here, but I think I'm going to forego the salvaging on this one. We should make some steel. Twenty steel plates, please. 
so we can get enough hull plates to finish our ship. Water is going to become a problem here soon, though. We have 14 left. And we're out of ice. Those pirates are a bit annoying. Right, I forgot. Uh, where there? We have a new data log. Starfarer, log one. Hear your babies crying. I know I should feel bad. I am so lucky right now. There are still millions of people starving back there on Earth, and I'm up here. Safe, or at least sort of safe. Or at least if I starve, it'll be my own dumb fault, which is a lot more than most people can say right now. I like the guys I'm working with too. Victor, Hamilton, Cutter, Sandy. So far, we're getting along great. Cutter can be kind of cranky, and Sandy's obviously seen some stuff that she doesn't want to talk about, but so far, we're all in a good mood and working well together. Right now, we're all sleeping in a single dormitory and Hamilton snores like a sawmill, so I'll be glad when we can spare the time to build separate cabins for everyone. But really, his snoring is the worst of my concerns. That's... it's been a long time since I had it so good. The first and most important step in building a ship is naming her. We decided to go with Starfarer. Hopefully, a name like that will carry us a long way. We're kind of divided on what we're going to do exactly. I think Victor and Sandy feel we owe it to the Haven Foundation to put in a real and serious search for Eden. I think we need to take care of ourselves first. If we look out for each other and work with other Haven crews and just take it carefully, we should be fine. Maybe we'll find Eden along the way. If we don't, well, just having a safe place to sleep and regular food on the table in front of me every day suits me just fine. I don't need fame and adventure. A home is enough. Though I guess I'd better get back to building her. There is still a lot of work to do before she's really self-sufficient. End log entry. We also have received entry 3 in the Call Me Crazy data log series. Log 3, going boldly. I still think Chang's too... I don't know, cautious, I guess? I don't think he'd be happy unless we stuffed the hole full of everything we can get our hands on. And even then, he'd probably fret. I told him, the longer we stay in one place, the more likely we are somebody will come along and there's no guarantee they'll be friendly. The quicker we move, the safer we are. He said all the safety in the world won't help if we run out of energy sticks. I asked him how many we have. Fifteen, he said. That's plenty so I'm not worried. He got his chance though. We stopped and built that survey station, and he personally mined every rock the pods could reach. He's still complaining, but whatever. He'll be here for a while as the telescope does its thing. We can probably sweep this whole system clean before it's done. I hope it doesn't take too long though. I have to admit, part of the rush is I want to go down in history as the crew that found Eden. The history books won't remember the runners up, I want to get there first. Bondi's still giving me grief though. Keeps arguing about 
humanity's track record and how we were a mass extinction event and how we have no right to do that to a second planet. Brown said that we have no right to let millions of people die. It's getting to be a problem, and the worst part is that I can't do a bloody thing to fix it because I'm firmly on one team. There isn't a neutral third party on boat, or on board. Just four of us who think we should find Eden, and one who thinks we shouldn't. In the end, I just told him to face the inevitable. Somebody's going to find the bloody thing first, I said, so it may as well be us. He's reading in his bunk again. Hopefully, it calms him down. End log entry. Hmm. I'm guessing we can see a certain hint as to what's going to uh, happen at the end of that specific voyage. room is really uh, noxious at the moment. We definitely need more. Um... Ice. The water is getting dangerously low. Yes, she does. Oh. Maybe they gain skills over time. I can't remember she having that earlier. Not much left, so we are almost ready to get out of this system as well. The uh, Thumpkin. There we go. Now we just need to undock those things. And of course they have to sleep, but we will prepare for a hyper jump. Here we go, now let's jump. This is still a very tasty location. But I'm worried about the pirates. They haven't come back, so they're probably down here. Maybe resting there. Let's go here. Now there is a ship here. So let's... Uh, See if they have anything of interest to trade. Hmm. 
the MFS the S Scott. What did you guys want? Carbon. You have water. That's good. And we can definitely trade you some carbon. That's not a problem at all. You're also selling electronics. But we have plenty of those. Raw chemicals. Not that interested. Infra blocks. We have 18 of those. We definitely do not need vegetables. Okay, so you do buy fruit. Let's buy... Oh, that's a bit harsh. Okay, so we are... ...giving them 39 credits, that's fine. They did have more water, though. No, I traded all of their water. Good. There we go. Let's prepare for another hyper jump. We can go here, and then here, and then here. Finally, this looks like a promising system. Oh, that's beautifully aligned. Let's deploy here. And Catherine, you are drafted. Please go to the vessel. Miss, you are drafted. Please go to the vessel. This thing doesn't appear to have an airlock, so we'll just have to dock in space. There we go. Now, you guys leave. Catherine, please move over there and miss you too. small vessel the curious lack of biters oh here's something credits credits and credits okay here's something as well Credits and new data log. Let's open the door. This appears to be the bridge. This might have been a one man vessel.
the CS the Terror. That's a funky name. Uh, transfer, select all. This is good. Now let's mine the ice and the carbon. How is our steel production going along? We are done with that, so we can make some uh, old blocks. Make 20 of them. Need to clean up this room. But I won't do that until I'm done with uh, the hull. left over here? No. Not much that I want to bother salvaging either. Okay, we can now activate this sketch. I think we need an industrial room that large, so I'll just continue that wall over there. Have we transferred everything? Yes, we have. But the only thing left to do is build the final parts of the vessel. May as well activate the sketch on the other side as well. Now nah, let them finish that first. We're on day 92, so we're pretty far in. Those sleep pods. Okay, so we can build those now. That's good. go that part is done let's activate the sketch on the other side and then we want to build that wall Then we want to dismantle this wall. And we also want to dismantle these wall bits here. And I think we want 
to dismantle that wall as well because it's gonna look weird. Everyone asleep again? Beesh, that was quick. Can dismantle this one and this one because oh wait, should we do that? No, we shouldn't. What we rather should do is build the wall. This one, of course, will stop functioning. It will just be standing in the middle of the air, but... Uh, that means we need a new in-floor power node. Let's just build one there for now. Slow things down a little bit and we need to link this. So we'll remove that link and put it to this one and then we'll remove that link and put it to that one and we'll dismantle this one. And we also need to build a couple more walls here. It should be fine. One, two, three, four. To just do this and build the wall directly down like that. It means it'll end up at the corner. So one, one, two, three, four, five. Like so. Dismantle that as well. X1 wall. It has the wrong style though. I don't remember how I changed that. dismantle that because what we actually do want is a door here and a door there and then we want a wall going down there and there is sleep again geesh finish up the ship and when we've done that we probably should consider ending the episode because this turned out to be a very long episode so there we go um as for the next episode my immediate plan is to well before we do anything let's just have a look at the systems we can build a weapons console, that's easy enough. And we also have enough blocks to build energy turrets. And we also have enough blocks to build a shield generator. So maybe we'll build an energy turret and a shield generator. I 
I'm not sure about that, to be honest. They are quite big. Um, why am I not sure, you might be wondering. Well, it'll take quite a bit of inf infra blocks, although I guess we could manufacture more of those. Yeah, we can easily make infra blocks. It's a total of six tech blocks and ten energy blocks. Those are the main issue because each of these require one energy block. But we could build them in here. But then we also need to build the uh, hypersleep chambers. Yeah, we actually should be good. As long as I make some more uh, infra blocks, we should be good. So then, maybe I'll do that. Uh, the plan is to go to uh, that system, since it's an, an isolated one and I don't want to go backwards. We'll check in with these isolated systems. I don't know why they're isolated, but I'm guessing that maybe they are more dangerous, but have more lucrative loot. So, um, yeah, that's the plan for the next episode. For now, thank you all so much for joining me. And I'll see you both then.